I'm with Mark Wells on the Gay Classic Car Group stand with his splendid Alpha 166. How long have you owned it? We've owned the car about two and a half years. Um, we've been looking around for a 166. We wanted a, a, a three litre, preferably a manual. Uh, and this car came up. A uh, little bit of an interesting history, slightly patchy. Um, the car, uh, I've lived with it, I think it's his second owner for quite a while down in the, the southwest. And it appears the car did a cam belt, which they can be a bit prone on. And uh, there's a receipt for the car to be repaired, heads off, etc. And the car did 300 miles and sat for 12 years. Right, uh, and okay. then it found our way eventually to us and uh, I've done some fairly hefty recommissioning it's, uh, it's had to have a, a reasonable amount of work but it's absolutely amazing car so you're saying you wanted a V6 specifically yes obviously not many 166s around of the survivors are they mainly V6s or not V6s it's a bit mixed uh, there are two twin sparks about probably they sold more twin sparks but what you tend to find is everyone wants the engine for either kit cars or to repair you know cars that are worth a lot more uh, like the 916s uh, the spiders etc but yeah they, they are getting a very rare car uh, i think rough idea production because this is the manual uh, which is quote known as a super so that it's a, it's a three litre super um, I believe they only sold around 3,000 in this particular form before they facelifted it okay so why, why did you want a 166 V6 well we I, uh, I have a sub 9000 Colson which is type 4 floor pan you're a very good man and we like you you're gonna go to heaven good yeah so I know the floor pan and uh, it, it's something unusual, you don't see them. Um, this car as well, what we particularly like is uh, it's in, ooh, I can't try to think of the name of the colour, it comes to me in a moment. Dark but, blue. It, dark blue. That it's officially do, yes. dark blue. It's Odyssey blue, dark that's blue. it. Odyssey blue. Yeah. Um, uh, which, it, it, these cars are very colour sensitive. You know, what you tend to find with the lighter colours, they, they look a bit, the, the headlights look a bit odd. But it, it's, it's, it's a lovely spec car, cream leather, up, upgraded mahogany in it. It uh, doesn't have sat nav, not as if we worry about you know, 20 year old sat navs. But the, the, it's, we've got 19 cars between us. And it's a car that's really got under our skin. And uh, everyone sort of shies away from alpha ownership, but it's amazing. Really so how many it. miles has it done? About 78,000. Okay, and if you've got so many cars, the mileage is going to creep up, presumably. You won't be another yeah. mile. Okay. Oh, we'll share it between one of the others, but uh, no, it's, it's, it's an amazing vehicle. So what else is in the collection with your 19 cars? No need to list all 19, by the way, just I edited highlights will be fine. Yes, because I'll, I'll, I'll be, uh, be here forever. But the oldest car is my 1938 Austin 18 Norfolk, which is only 16 left. It's the first Austin to be named after a, a county versus a, a town. Um, and I've got a post-war Austin, uh, Austin shear line. Uh, there's Humbers, say sub 900s, 9000, quite a lot of Rovers. Uh, and BMW 840Ci. We Citroen like the 840Ci. Well, we like all of these so yeah, far. Citroen XMs, yeah, all sorts. Okay, top man. Well, I look forward to seeing more of this car in the future, and uh, and maybe this is a classic retro modern car. Maybe we'll we'll get it in there and uh, and get a drive. Oh, definitely. Yes, okay. please. Brilliant. Thank Thanks you. very much. Thank, Thank you. you.